Now look, I'm just gonna level with you on this one. If you're an adventurous couple that needs room to sleep up to five people, but you're like, forget about it. We are taking the creature comforts of home with us in our mid-tier RV with some stuff that's gonna wow you. Just come check out the 23 MKBL by Cherokee Gray Wolf. This, this thing's ridiculous. Do the thing, do the thing. Mm -hmm. It's Chris Young, standing in the back of the all new Forest River Gray Wolf by Cherokee, 23 MKBL. This is the black label Gray Wolf. And yeah. What they've done is they've taken all the features that you come to know inside the Gray Wolf and they've upgraded it with the black label. And we'll see on the outside how it has the fiberglass siding, but just take a look at what we have here. We got decorative side skirting on all the windows, solid wood balances with the zebra shades. Now this 23 MK is actually a mid kitchen or like a rear living RV. So right here along the back wall, you got your jackknife sofa with the I like to call them adjusta arms because you can take them and put them anywhere or use them as pillows. Plus, I got me some end tables, 110 power, awesome for wind, awesome for cross breeze, awesome for light because you do get to adjust the level of light that you come in. But they've upgraded the furniture, like right over here on the off camp side with the U shaped dinette. Gone is that kind of leatherette feel. This is a true soft cloth, almost twill type of feel to this. So this reduces down into a sleeper, could easily sleep two people there. Large panoramic window once again. The rustic decor on my table. And I got the large storage drawers under both sides of my booth dinette with this black on gray interior that the black label has. Beautiful, light and bright, but I get a lot of those dark accents which makes it very appealing. And plus you add to that the oiled bronzed hinges that we have all the way around. Great little feature. Now we come over here to the campsite, to the campsite, and gone is that pressed surface countertop replaced by the upgraded solid surface countertop. Very nice, very decorative, allows us to have an undermounted stainless steel sink with that matte black feature with the high rise faucet plus sanitization station and double cutting boards and covers for my sink. I got a large window, I got my flush mounted three burner cooktop with the 16 inch graystone oven. Little LED accent light there. And just because they're always trying to innovate, you do get the wooden cutting board, which doubles as a backsplash and is got a little magnet that keeps it in place right there. Well, when I get the magnets on, there we go. You got your hood, your high point microwave, frosted glass inlay here, my storage. I like the wood inlay here with the little mushroom lights, my main access point over here, which also leads me to my uh, brand new in-command panel. Now this you can't control from your cell phone with Bluetooth, but this will let you know how the battery's doing, all your tanks are doing, cut on the lights, run out the awning, run out the slide, uh, just a nice little touch pad, just kind of updating things. Add that to the fact that I got a 15,000 BTU Coleman Mach Whisper Quiet AC right here, which is ducted, but also has the quick cool dumps. I got that calling car to Grey Wolf with the blue lights all over the place. I gotta ask them, what is that all about? Even got one in my ceiling mounted eight inch subwoofer right here by Driven. These things thump. Plus if you need the additional light, which you really don't, you got the skylight right here with sunshade. Very nice feature. 10.7, let's just call it 11 cubic foot. Fridge freezer combo right here by Canon. It is frost resistant, it is also vibration smart, and it's 12 volt. So since the black label has the juice pack on it, you got a 50 watt upgradable to 100 watt panel already mounted on the roof that's connected right up to the battery. So it's trickle charging. Since it's 50 watt, you can run this 12 volt 
fridge, you can run out the slide, you can run the lights all from the solar panel. Very nice little feature added to your RV. I got my air Excel controls right here for my HVAC, 15K BTU on the AC, 30,000 BTU on the furnace cable or satellite connection and power leading me right here to my palm mount for my TV, which is pretty cool because if you don't want to buy a bunch of TVs, you want to take them in and out, uh, you got the option. This comes with a backer that attaches to the TV and then you just slide it in and out. Once again, I got that rustic appearance here on my component shelf right above my electric fireplace, 50 to 200 BTUs of heat coming off of that. It's got multi-flame settings, multi-light settings, beautiful, does a good job of knocking the chill off the air. A little mudroom storage down at the bottom, plus a little storage door. I don't know what we'd put in there, but we'd put something. And my driven AM FM command panel, Bluetooth, HDMI, USB, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I tell you all of that to tell you this. What Forest River did with the black label blew me away by the feature I'm about to show you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Check this out, homie. Neo angled shower with the glass enclosure. Chris, we've seen that before. Have you seen that before? What? Right? Tell me about it. Boy, all day long, put a week on it. That is a shower for showers. You, that's not camping, son, that's glamping. You even got the little nozzle here for the sprayer, but you got the multi-jets, you got your multi-control settings here, hot and cold, um, and, and this is, I mean, corner mounted, skylight gives you plenty of headroom. That's, that's banger, that's baller all day. As a matter of fact, when this review is over, I'm probably taking this out of the RV and putting it in my house. Um, they just don't know it, so don't buy this one. No, I'm kidding, maybe. But that is a feature that you're not gonna find in a lot of RVs. You're not gonna find that in luxury RVs. So, crazy good, crazy crazy. Got me some linen storage right here. More down at the bottom. There we go, Bobby. All right. Come on in here. In a true pass-through bathroom. That's why I like the 23 MK. Now, on the front end, I said this was for you know couples who need to sleep up to five. This could be a family coach, absolutely, because you have the true separation of space here with the walk-through bathroom. Separated from the living area, so if you got people sleeping out there, you're in the master, you need to get up and use the bathroom and vice versa. They're not gonna wake you up, you're not gonna wake them up. Corner-mounted large single basin sink, as well as medicine cabinets with mirror here. Little storage underneath the sink as well. Right there. Linen space storage or ward storage, whatever you wanted to use it for right here. Right above your high rise plastic bowl with the foot flush and the max fan, which moves air at about a foot per second, which really does a good job of cooling this coach down. Now we come into the master. You'll see you got the queen size bed here nestled in the front cap. You got the little angled LED reading lights. What color do you think they are? Blue. They're blue <laughs> because it's gray wall. They have an affinity towards Azul, so good for them. Um, now you got side opening storage doors up above the bed, plus mirrored ward storage on both sides. And dual USB charging and 110 on both sides, but here on the campsite, you got the charging spot for your Furion Lit, which also comes with this black label RV. And of course we got storage underneath. There you go, you can hit you can get there from the pass-through if you need to, which is a nice feature, especially if it's raining outside. Yep, and my entertainment space, 110 cable connection for my TV mount, that palm mount bracket, the whole nine. Black Label stepping up the game. I gotta tell you, I rarely get impressed. If you can't tell, I'm the, just that type of individual. Uh, but I am impressed. We've seen the inside of this beautiful 23 MKBL. MKBL. Now what do you say we go take a look at the outside? So here we are on the outside of the all new Forest River by Cherokee Gray Wolf Black Label 23 MKBL. I think the BL instead of black label should stand for blue light since they got them freaking everywhere. But right up front, you're gonna see that super flex roof going over the top, diamond plated rock guard on the bottom, plus that single welded frame, double 20 pound LP tanks right in front of our battery box, which is located right there on the rails. Plus we got power leveling, or excuse me, power tongue jack with LED light. Come around here to the campsite. Now, this is where the black label really kinds of come into play because if you'll notice on this gray wolf, 
we have the aluminum sided. But on the black label, you got the fiberglass sided with the seamless windows that are tinted and safety windows. You got magnetic latches on your anti-slam doors for your pass-through storage. And right here, it's not pass-through, but it's regular storage, which is accessible from the master bed and the bedroom. And there's our solar charge controller right there for our 50-watt panel, which is part of the juice pack. Uh, stabilizer jacks right there. We do have an enclosed tank underbelly on this one as well. Uh, so about midway down where the tanks are, they're in center frame, there's enclosure on it. Uh, you do have the large awning here with the LED light strip. It is the 12-volt awning with the adjustable pitch. Got my external speakers which also have the blue lights on them, the 110 outlet and the cable connection right there. Here's that external pole mount that I mentioned on the inside. Great option if you don't wanna have you know five, six TVs. Tire pressure monitoring system here on those beautiful rims. Wheels are shined up on those Dexter Easy Lube axles. I got me the black label logo right here, which to me just kinda looks really cool. And the upgraded outside pup kitchen. I got the Contour mini fridge freezer combo right there and the Contour ice maker right here. This is kind of cool because you got the one that spits it out for you, plus the external shower with hot and cold. Um, if you say, well, Chris, that's all cool and everything, but what about cooking? Well, you got the LP Quick Connect under there as well. It's right over there. Put out your grill. Do some cooking under the awning here, you black label solid steps leading into the tempered glass here with the tinted windows and the LED safety floodlight right there. I like that feature too. That's just a little thing that a lot of manufacturers could do uh, just to make this a little additional, you know, a little additional safety and security, especially at night coming and going. 1500 pound pet leash right here located on the back. 4x4 sewer hose storage with the spare tire mounted on the bike rack. I love the addition of this this year. It's just an aesthetic, but I like it. There's more of that seamless or the edgeless windows. The Bluetooth backup camera, great addition. Arch ceilings there with the three inch rubber nozzles. Rear stabilizer jack there. Plus you got the worm groove slides on these insulated all the way around. Another external shower, so you got one on the campsite, one on the off campsite. Black tank flush, fresh water connection, city water connection. My 30 amp plug right there. And my main terminations, you'll see your gray tank and your black tank. Now, this one, the 23MK, has a 40 gallon fresh and dual 38s. 38 gallon gray, 38 gallon black. Uh, cable connections here, little LED light right there. Low point drain. But the most important part of any RV is gonna be this info panel right here. Now this thing's roughly 5,200 pounds, 5,100 pounds dry. You're looking at 29 feet long, but the gross vehicle weight, 76.95. That's where you take that information back to your specialist at Camping World and Gander and you say, hey, you know, what does that mean? Here's what my truck can tow. Uh, here's how many people will need to sleep. Um, here's where I wanna go camping. Is this what's right for me? Um, and with a, a 40 gallon fresh tank, that seems a little small for that shower, at least it does to me, because I could do 40 gallons in one shower with that thing. I mean, you just stand there and just, I mean, come on, that's beautiful. But if you're looking for a different camping experience, you want that mid-tier RV with some luxury features and some awesome additions, check out this Gray Wolf Black Label 23MK, especially if you only need to sleep up to five people, but you're really an adventurous couple that needs some space, this is one to put at your top of your list. But leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like about it, what you not like about it, because we love hearing from you. Uh, and while you're at it, click like, subscribe, and notify, so the next time we get a video, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World and Gander. Thank you for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed the blue light, or excuse me, the Black Label Gray Wolf 23MK. Uh, I'll see y'all later. I'm gonna go check out that shower.